Folks, welcome back. I uh, just wanted to talk today about our daily mindset and focus. Uh, been a lot of great positivity and motivating stories uh, yesterday in the private progression Facebook group uh, spurred by Coach Jeremy's post about finding your why. And today our mindset is remembering our why. And it's, and it's not as hard as or complex as it has to be. It, you know, you might not have, a, you feel like you have a super inspirational why, it doesn't matter, but today you're remembering your why. I do this for, maybe it's as simple as you just do it for you, for, for peace of mind for one hour a day. But remembering your why and why exercise and taking care of yourself is so important to you for the rest of your life, okay? And that's gonna get you through tough days, difficult workouts, lack of motivation, remembering your why and keep it simple don't beat yourself up if you don't feel like you have a good why. Anything you come up with, whether it's a sentence or a couple words, or if it's a paragraph, that's great. Write it down, remember it, look at it, put it somewhere you're gonna think about it. Remember your why, okay? Have a great workout. I'm looking forward to it today, folks. Hey everybody, welcome to Thursday, April 9th. It's Coach Nick here just to bring you today's CrossFit at home workout of the day from Progression Fitness. Thanks everybody for tuning in, uh, means the world, literally. So uh, here's what we have going on today. Today for our Grease the Groove Challenge at home, it is a 30 second squat hold, or if you're looking to make this more intense, what I did today was three on the left, three on the right, single leg squats. Uh, if you've ever wanted to get a skill, I can't stress this enough, Grease the Groove style training is a great way to master these at-home workouts or these at-home skills that you've been struggling to get. So for me, pistols are really important and I do these every other day for Grease the Groove, literally. Um, three on the left, three on the right or whatever I can do that day because I don't have a squat rack at home. And the heaviest weight I have is a 64 pound kettlebell. My goal is whenever we're done with this lockdown is to come out and still be able to squat a significant amount of weight and to stay in good uh, strength as far as my lower body goes, especially my core. So I've been focused on the pistol. My next progression is to maybe add some weight to it for these daily greasy groove challenges. So again, be creative, think outside the box. This is how I'm planning to keep on my lean muscle mass. And you can bet I'm gonna be doing an in-body scan when I get back to the gym and I'll let you know how it went. But my goal has been to maintain or improve my lean muscle mass. And I know I'm on track to doing that because I've been doing greasy groove and working out um, just about every day as much as I can at the very minimum I do probably 80 to 100 reps of the greasy groove work that I've been talking to you guys about and it's gonna be really really effective I know it so give it a shot uh, uh, here we go let's go right into our warm-up I'm gonna send you all out for five to ten minutes of cardio when you get back here's what we're gonna do three rounds of 12 RDLs could be with a barbell kettlebell plate whatever kind of weights you have at home a slam ball then you're gonna do 10 knee touches while you're in a squat. Now, if this isn't comfortable or you feel a twisting in your knee, you're not doing it correctly or you don't have the mobility for it. You should feel this rotation coming from your hip. You're gonna see it in the next video here. So an alternative would be a 90-90 sit, which we've already done multiple times over the past several weeks. So you should be familiar with that one. Uh, anyways, it's coming up next in the demo video for our warm-ups. After that, we're gonna do two side shuffles, just down back, down back, Pick a distance. I go from my living room to my kitchen. That's about probably 30, about 30 feet maybe. Um, so if you guys have that kind of, if I have that kind of, room, kind of room, I know you guys do at home too. All right, cause I'm just in a tiny little apartment. So with that being said, you'll go through that three rounds, 12 RDLs, 12 knee, 10 knee touches, two side shuffles. If that's not enough, do it more. Four rounds, five rounds, just until you're feeling warm. Let's go ahead, pause the video at this time. Now whether you're doing my warm up or your own, Let's get in some warm up here for the next 10 to 20 minutes. Ready? Here we go.
All right, welcome back. I hope you guys like the new camera angle I'm trying out today. Let me know if it looks nicer, it looks better, it looks different. Well, it's definitely different. Let's go ahead, uh, next up, let's talk about the strength portion today. Today, this was one we've had in every week. It's some shoulder raise work. It's 12 minutes of 10 front shoulder raises, 10 side shoulder raises, 10 reverse flies, and then you're gonna finish today with 15 assisted V-sits, as you see in the video. Why have we seen this every single week in our programming so far? Because a lot of the at-home workouts that we have to do, let alone the workouts we were doing before at Progression Fitness, is, is shoulder dominant, right? So we gotta take care of those fine shoulder muscles, uh, uh, fine motor shoulder muscles uh, uh, in our shoulder girdle and whatnot, rotator cup, to t uh, so we can keep doing these workouts and keep having fun with them and be pain free. Is this a cure all? No, but if we can do this consistently, maybe once or twice a week, then I know for sure we're doing something for your guys' shoulder health. If you have other movements you wanna put in here or you know of that help your shoulders feel good, like think back to crossover symmetry type work, or if you have a band at home for band and pull aparts, by all means, stick to the similar rep scheme with the 10, 10, 10 that we're doing today. Go ahead, watch the demo ver video next. I use very light weights, just five to 10 pounds, or if you remember the first week, I did it with books. Great way to do this one today. Go ahead, pause the video at this time, and let's set our clock for 12 minutes. Your goal is to get through four rounds on today's strength portion. Here we go. And welcome back from the strength portion. Now it's time for everybody's favorite, the workout of the day. Today's workout is gonna be a 25 minute AMRAP. 10 on the left, 10 on the right of a complex uh, swing, clean, and squat. And then we're gonna do 20 overhead lunge steps. That's 20 total, so 10 on the left, 10 on the right. And then 10 shuttle runs. Okay, the shuttle run, uh, let's go ahead and let's review this, all right? This is your 25 minute AMRAP, you look at it like, oh, it's another long workout. Yes, and it's gonna be mentally challenging because you're at home on your own, and that is definitely the biggest challenge when you do a longer AMRAP like this. Now, with that being said, today's workout should be a little bit more unique because of the complex. This is something we haven't done yet in our training. It's gonna switch things up. It's gonna get nasty fast if you dial the intensity in correctly today. So today, it's 10 on the left, 10 on the right, swing, clean, front squat. So you're gonna see me demo it with my kettlebell in just a second, or just a minute, uh, and it gets really nasty. I use a heavy kettlebell. So today when it says do 10, you're gonna do it once on the left, once on the right, and that's one rep. So you're gonna end up doing 20 of these essentially. I'm sure Nick, I could have written that, typed it out that way in Sugar Wad. I didn't, I'm sorry. But that's how it reads today. I'm sorry for the inconsistency there. Uh, with that being said though, a lot of different ways to do this. If you don't have a heavy kettlebell, you can do a dumbbell deadlift, dumbbell clean from the ground, and a front squat. You can do the same thing with a slam ball. If you only have one heavy movement, but it's an object, but it's like really heavy, I also demo how I would do this with just one kettlebell, for example. So I do two deadlifts, two power cleans with the kettlebell, or kind of hikes to goblet positions, and then two goblet squats for one rep. And I would have you go through that 10 times. That's gonna take up a lot of your time today. So you're gonna have to be di diligent. You're gonna have to move consistently on the complex piece today. The overhead lunge step, a lot of different ways to hold your weight today for that. Goblet position, suitcase carry, front rack, overhead. Again, if you feel you see your arm bending or your elbow bending down like that, go ahead, just switch to a goblet position to continue moving through this workout today. You know, if you wanna try it one or two times, that's fine, but later in the workout, as you start to fail multiple times, if you do, get to that goblet position immediately. That'd be my go-to position today because it's gonna just engage your core more. And then last but not least, the shuttle run. Again, gonna have to think outside the box or be creative on this one today, okay? For the shuttle run, I just use the distance from my uh, 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 air conditioner to my kitchen counter, which is down on the other side. It's about probably maybe 25, 30 feet across. Uh, almost almost a uh, 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 40 foot distance. And if you read the notes today, it talks about what one length is. So I would go, so I run down, back, down, back, 
and that's gonna be one length for me in my apartment. And I'm like jogging because I don't wanna run and break stuff, but it's still gonna be gross. This is actually gonna be your little break in this workout to catch your breath. I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> so with that being said, power walking is a great alternative. Um, marching in place is a great alternative. Just be consistent on how many steps that you do and make sure it's intense enough for you today. As always, if you have questions, you need help with figuring out different types of movements that you could do today in place of the shuttle run, in place of the complex, let a coach know or PM on this post below uh, in the private Facebook group. That's the best way probably to do it if you don't reach out to your coach individually. So with that being said, let's watch the demo videos. That should clear up any questions. And let's, let's set our clock for 25 minutes and start this workout today. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, welcome back folks. Awesome job on that workout today. I'm sure you're still peeling yourself off, on, off the floor from that one. Thank you so much for joining me for another at-home workout. We'll see you guys tomorrow, Friday. Bye.